What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and like I said, it is AAF week here on Treeb Talks' YouTube channel, and today we are going to be going over some notable names of players and coaches in this league that have the opportunity to revitalize their career and play and come out on top. It's unfortunate that some guys aren't in this league, like guys like Johnny Manziel. Um, he was a guy that went to the NFL, obviously struggled, was a big bust, went to CFL, struggled, and was a big bust. But here in the AAF, a lot of those guys are getting a second opportunity. So ladies and gentlemen, here are five players that have the opportunity to revitalize their career in the AAF. Number five, Speedy Noyle. Speedy Noyle is a weird pick. This guy was the number one recruited guy out of his high school class. And then he ended up being the highly, the most highly recruited kid, obviously, um, in his class, being the uh, number one player. And, you know, in high school, he was just all over the place. He was an elite athlete. He was the number one athlete in his class. So he played quarterback, running back, wide receiver. And then he ended up going to Texas a and m to play football where he was terrific in the kick return game receiving game everything but right when he was starting to get hot somebody came and took his spot and that guy was christian kirk and then after that he found himself buried in the depth chart he ended up getting into some trouble and you know no one really ever heard from speedy noyle again he did enter the i believe it was the supplemental draft he either entered the supplemental draft or the actual draft and I don't think he ended up getting drafted either till late or maybe he did get drafted uh, as an undrafted free agent. You know, I don't really know where the story goes from there. However, I do know I've seen his college tape and his high school tape and it is very, very impressive. And I think with the talent pool in this league and the opportunity that has been blessed to Speedy Noyle, I think this is a guy that could really go back to his true potential and revitalize his career in the AAF. Coming in at number four, I have running back Bishop Sankey. Bishop Sankey was a highly recruited running back straight out of college and went to the Tennessee Titans. Now, this is when the Titans and basically the whole AFC South out really wasn't the Indianapolis Colts or the Houston Texans. So basically the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Tennessee Titans were both really, really going downhill. We're in trying uh, to be in full rebuild mode. And Bishop Sankey kind of got thrown on a team that wasn't built and wasn't ready. And I think that hurt him as a player and hurt his potential. And I think now that he's in this league, Bishop Sankey is going to show what he's all about to revitalize his career. He's a power back mixed with some speed. You know, this guy uh, has potential to be probably one of the best running backs um, in this league, if not the best running back in this league, just based off of full potential. And like I said with these coaches, how it's been a while since they've been a head coach somewhere. It's been a long time since these guys have played football. So, you know, we really haven't seen guys like Speedy Noyle, Bishop, Sankey play football very much in the last couple of years. But from when we have seen them play football, they were dripping with absolute potential. And I think Bishop Sankey's a guy that could reach that potential in the AAF. Coming in at number three, we have a coach, Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary, like I said, his team ended up being ranked fifth in my top eight teams heading in to the regular season uh, for the Alliance of American Football um, because Mike Singletary was their coach and he did not have a great um, head coaching stint with the 49ers. And, you know, I was saying that Mike Singletary might be holding him back but they do have some decent players on that roster and I think that if Mike Singletary can make do with the league it's going to be this one and I think he's going to be able to go out there and show that he does have the head coaching material to go out there and get it done at least I hope so like I said in that video I don't know how much I truly buy it but with that being said he does have a tremendous opportunity to revitalize his career fix all the coaching mistakes he ever made also fix all the media stuff that he did you know he wasn't very good to the media so you know he could fix that and you know maybe bring his team a championship but this is an excellent time for mike singletary to revitalize his coaching career coming in at number two we have running back zach stacy now zach stacy out of all the notable running backs that are in this league was the only running back that came anywhere near 
a thousand yards rushing. He had 970 yards um, his first season playing with the St. Louis Rams. And like I said, the coaching on the Rams was not good back then. Uh, Jeff Fisher and the teams overall weren't good either. So, you know, he kind of got overshadowed. I remember people taking Zach Stacy in the fantasy drafts in the second, third round. Like, this guy was no joke. He's another guy kind of like Bishop Sankey. I think he has a little bit of speed to him, but he's also kind of a power back. Um, and he has a great opportunity to reach that potential in the AAF, especially with these guys that um, some of them haven't even played at the pro level, and, you know, you're going up against them. And I think Zach Stacy this year... This year, Zach Stacy is going to win the first ever AAF MVP award. Mark my words, Zach Stacy is going to revitalize his career and be the first ever AAF MVP. And coming in at number one, we have quarterback Zach Mettenberger. Of course, number one had to be a quarterback. There's not a lot of quarterbacks in this league that I know too well except for Zach Mettenberger so not a lot of them really have careers that they need to revitalize however Zach Mettenberger does he did have a couple of starts for Tennessee back in the day where he did look all right he looked like he had some potential injuries held him back a little bit of inconsistency him being young um, but now that he's kind of out of the league and obviously I mean if these guys are coming back to the NFL there's they've been training you know they've been trying to stay in shape for another opportunity like this so you know Zach Menberger had to be staying in shape still probably has the mechanics needed to be a good quarterback in this league and as of right now based on paper and NFL experience he's probably the best quarterback in this league and definitely has the best potential to go out there and ball out that's for sure and I think he's also a guy that could be competing for the first ever AAF MVP award and I think he has a great opportunity to revisit and revitalize his career right here in the AAF and that was five players that could revitalize their career in the AAF and yes I know I picked Mike Singletary so I was cheating anyway if you guys enjoyed it, leave your comments down below. Tell me who you think has a good opportunity to revitalize their career. Also, if you haven't, make sure you go like me on Facebook at Treve Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Treve Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trayvon Pixley. And if you are feeling oh so generous, you can go ahead and donate on Patreon. That's patreon.com forward slash Treve Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel five days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them is just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, you have a great day.